Okay, our Jome is finally ready. Jome. J J Jam. Jome. J A O M. Oh, Exclamation uh, point. Okay, look, well, granted, you're you're correct, but j it, Jome rolls off the top. Say it. Jome. Jow. Jome. Jow. <laughs> our Jome's ancient orange mead is done, and it's time to bottle it. Now, when you first start fermenting your jome, your oranges, your raisins are going to be floating on top. When all that sinks down to the bottom, it's done. Now, this is jome. There's no gravity readings. There's no technicals. When everything sinks to the bottom, it's ready to bottle. Let's do this. Jome. <laughs> jome. <laughs> <laughs> so I got our sanitizer. What's next? Bottles. Sanitize our bottles. All right. Grab all the bottles and give them a sanitize. A sanitization. A sanitization. Do that. Yeah. You ain't got to fill them all the way up. Just kind of fill them up about yay much. Put your hand over top and shake it. I'll let you do the same yeah. thing. We're bottling this in wine bottles with corks and these pretty little shrink wrap things. So we got our wine corker and we have an itty bitty racking cane. Mag magic wand. Racking cane. That's a bottling wand. Oh. Sanitize it. Do like a shh. Do it really hard. Okay, it didn't get you. <laughs> I was hoping it would spray out on you. <laughs> Just go ahead and immerse it in there and let it sit for a while. Okay, we're using the two guy method, which is more easier, more better, and definitely more funner. If you're all by yourself, go ahead and rack this into a bottling bucket and bottle that way. But if you got two guys, do it like this. Okay, we got, <clears throat> we have here an itty bitty racking cane. I'm going to work the cardboard, Derek's going to work the bottle. He's going to put the end all the way to the bottom of these bottles. And he's going to follow that up to avoid splashing. And he's going to swap, he's going to fill each bottle to old flows just a little bit. Let's go right back down to it. Or right down to it, rather. You ready? Yep. Follow it all the way up. Don't let it come out of the mead. You want to keep that immersed in the mead the whole time. Avoid splashing. Oxidation, bad. So when it gets to the top and I pull it out, how am I going to prevent it from splashing? I just kind of do the best you can. We're only human. I'm going to get down here so I can... All that crap in the bottom, the oranges, the raisins, the yeast, the cinnamon. Try not to rack that up. Get all the clear stuff. And you're going to lose a little bit. But that's part of the beast. Nature of the beast. Game of the beast. cork them. I'm gonna let Derek do the corking and walk him through it. Now first, <clears throat> you're gonna make sure there's enough room in all his balls to fit that cork. So, put the coke alongside to get like an idea and just pour out enough. Okay. 
Just enough to get room, you know? So I got an idea. Why don't you pour it in that bottle? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Now, some people don't do this. Some people advise against it. But if you dip these in star sand beforehand, it makes them slippery and they slide in easier. Take your corker, place the cork in like this, and then try to center it, try to center it on top. And it's user friendly, do the thing. You gotta put a little power on it. Do the thing, bro, do the thing. When does it stop? It'll click. Harder, harder, harder. She's not afraid to break the bottle. You won't break the bottle. Just go for it. There you go. Now these corkers can sometimes massacre the top of your cork. And it'll leave little pieces of cork residue in the corker. So just give it like a little rinse each time. A little rinse out and a sanitizer between each bottling. I need my foreskin. There you cork. go. <laughs> you almost said your foreskin. <laughs> now once again I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna top this bottle up with that bottle. Oh, too much splashing, but I will. And I'm gonna take my cork, I'm gonna dip it in sanitizer, put it in there, and there you go. And do the thing. Ah, da, 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 da. That one, yeah. You are getting good at this. Two done. Let's give it a little rinse out. Uh, minimal splashing, if you please. Can get this a rinse off and let it dry so it don't rust. Now see the top of your corks. They can sometimes look a little, a little massacred. You can buy these heat shrink wrap deals. They're, if you heat them, they're shrinkable. Grab these, put it on top, and then immerse that upside down in some boiling water. I have some water over here boiling. So we'll cut right here, reframe over there, and show you how that's done. Eric, as simple as this. <laughs> what did you do? Did you I totally have that on camera. <laughs> did you? Are we recording? I gotta explain first. <laughs> Dump this in boiling water and it'll shrink it. See? Now it's pretty. It covers up that unsightly destroyed massacred cork. What happened? What did I miss? You enjoy this way too much. <laughs> I have so much fun recording. Every time. It never gets old. <laughs> Why is this one weird? Uh, you want one more? We got one more. You want to do it? You took all the fun. <laughs> What did you do to it? <laughs> what did you do? It, it slipped a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I did all the other ones perfect except for that one. Now the last thing to do is to give them a rinse off, get the star sand off, let them dry, <laughs> and have your wife make some labels for you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Thank you for watching Need with Eric and Derek. We hope you have as much fun watching us as we have making this. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell so you're notified each time we upload. And join the Discord, where more than a thousand mead makers are always there to help you make better mead. Everything we talked about today is available for more beer. Now we are affiliated with more beer. We may make a small commission on sales at no extra cost to you. It helps support the channel and helps us bring more content to you. Links are in the description down below. See, See you next time. time.